Hey, Garrett. All right. Got your work up here. We're going to take a look. First thing I want to look at is your, your, your written portion. So let's do that. So I noticed that in your written portion, the only um, definition of the uh, target audience is in poster one. You haven't defined the target for poster two and poster three. So you definitely want to do that for Sunday's submission. I'll be looking for that. Uh, and, and be really specific in defining your target audience. Be as specific as you possibly can. It's really, really important. I've said this in many of the other uh, video critiques in this thread, but a, any graphic design project is only as good as, as its ability to communicate to the intended target audience. Um, so it's really, really important. And to, you want to define that target audience as specifically as possible. Um, so I think by 21 to 50 here, the female uh, uh, target is female, 21 to 50. Um, that's good. That's good. So you definitely want to do that for the other two posters. All right, let's go. But good job describing intent here. That's fantastic. Let's go and jump over to the work. Now, these are great. Sketches are great because you've done something very smart and you've labeled your sketches. And I think that's really important. It, it's it's almost impossible to really describe your entire intent with a, with a sketch. Sketches are great because it gives us an idea of what your intent is. Um, but it, there's a lot that can be, you know, included and that's where labeling comes in. So I'm, I'm a big fan of labeling labeling sketches. I think it's a great idea. Well, for example, right here, you're going to use a sans serif. You've even defined it possibly Helvetica. So great job. Excellent. Make this larger. You're describing spatial relationships. Outstanding. Keep this up. This is exactly what we're looking for in sketches. One thing I would recommend or maybe even to consider in your sketches is looks like you sketch with a really light hand. I do too. My sketches, if I scan them and try to include them digitally, they're almost impossible to see because I sketch really, really lightly. Um, but that's not a problem because all I do is I take it into Photoshop and I just bump up the contrast a little bit. Not so much that we start seeing shadows and things, but just enough to see. So, so think that that's something you might keep in mind as well. Uh, uh, if you if you are not familiar with Photoshop, or if you, just let me know. I'll show you how to do that. It's really easy. Um, at any rate, so at this point, I think your sketches are great. I, I honestly, I think the first and third will probably provide a lot more visual engagement than the second. This one seems a little bit bland in terms of visual engagement as compared to the first and the third. Okay, so, uh, but that doesn't mean if you can make this pop, go right ahead and do it. But I, I think the first and the third really have a lot of potential. So at this point, let's go ahead and uh, uh, complete your vid, your written writing with the target audience. And um, and then you can decide, it, it, the sketches are fine. You can submit those as is. I would just like to see a further definition of the target audience for Sunday's submission. Um, as far as moving forward, pursue the direction you feel has the most potential. So, so go ahead and think it through, decide, and, and I'm perfectly fine with you pursuing what you feel has the most potential or whatever you feel most passionate about. All right, so, um, oh, yep, target audience. That's about all I have. So great job. Thank you very much, Garrett. I appreciate your um, submission. And, of course, if you have any questions at all, please let me know quickly, and I'll, I'll be glad to get back to you quickly. All right, great. Thanks, Garrett.